Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to Breakfast with the Silvers. It is April 5th, 2023. And we are back at Jerry's. We're back at Jerry's. Thank you so much, Jerry. Your hospitality is... Yeah, Jerry is special. I mean, yeah. unbelievable. He opens his doors to us. Uh, he has helped us so much. Yep. Yeah. More on Jerry later. Yeah. Jerry has been absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Yep. Been great to us. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay, today's devotional is called Joy in This Life. From Psalm 1611, you will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. That's great. Yeah. Um, Psalm, you're going to be in Psalm 16. The Psalm whole, 16. The whole chapter there. a short one psalm 16 preserve me O god for in thee do i put my trust O my soul thou hast said unto the lord thou art my lord my goodness extendeth not to thee but to the saints that are in the earth and to the excellent in whom is all my delight their sorrows shall be multiplied that hasten after another god their drink offerings of blood will I not offer, nor take up their names into my lips. The Lord is the portion of mine inheritance and of my cup. Thou maintainest my lot. The lines are fallen. Sorry. The lines are fallen unto me in pleasant places. Yea, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who hath given me counsel. My reins also instruct me in the night seasons. I have set the Lord always before me, because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. Therefore my heart is glad, and my glory rejoiceth. My flesh also shall rest in hope. For thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. Thou shalt show me the path of life, and thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. I love the Psalms. Mm -hmm. Okay, you ready? Here comes some more goodness. Mm. The word of life is to make your joy full. We must remember that what is absent in the world is joy. The world has never had joy. The world never will have joy. Joy is not in the five senses of the world. Feelings are there. Happiness is there but joy can only be produced where there is no alloy. Now, there is no alloy in heaven. Alloy means that there is a mixture. In the world, there is happiness, but it is a mixture. Very often it comes very close to sorrow. That almost didn't sound like I read it right. Very often it comes very close to sorrow. Often in the midst of festivities, there is a place of happiness, and right underneath is a very heavy heart. But what Christians have is this, it is joy without alloy, without a mixture. It is inwardly expressive. It rises higher and higher until, if it had its perfect order, we would drown everything with a shout of praise coming from this Holy Presence. We want everyone to receive the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit has a very blessed expression of the Lord in His glory, in His purity, in His power, and in all His blessed words. All these are coming forcefully through as the Holy Spirit is able to witness to you of him. And every time the Son is manifested in your hearts by the Holy Spirit, you get a real stream of heavenly glory on earth. Joy in the Holy Spirit, not in eating and drinking, but in something higher, something better. We all enjoy eating and drinking, but this is something higher, something better, something more substantial joy in the holy spirit and the holy spirit can bring this joy to us thought for today no one gets his answers to his prayers he never does for god answers prayers abundantly above what we ask or think to pray for mm. Woo! Mm. see you see tomorrow, tomorrow.